we're back. Hello, everyone. We are here for another chill, cozy Minecraft play session. We'll be cozy until I inevitably get blown up by something. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> it's been a little while since we've been playing Morrowind. I have to remember my controllers. Put myself in a hole. I was thinking today... Well, things never go as planned, but we might start off just trying to like work on our base a little bit, make things a little nicer, maybe do some... Oh, my tulips from last time! They came out so cute! And my little cherry grove I've got going on. So I thought maybe we could start in the mines a little bit. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what I have. A bunch of bone mill. Okay, good. I have an extra sword. We have a couple pickaxes. We're, we're doing okay. Okay, let's put some stuff away. We've got plenty of food. Hi, everyone. Oh, I still need to breed my animals so I can sell more stuff in my village. But I think we need to start with doing a little bit in the mines. Try to get some more iron and stuff going on because... Oh, so much cobblestone. Collect it for my bridges later on. We'll keep one. Might put some dirt in there too. What's that? Ooh, dark oak. And lots of cherry blossom. My beautiful upstairs. We don't see... <laughs> I made all this and I used it like once and have not looked at it again. We'll get back to it. We'll figure it out. But for now, we're still just recovering way after our trip to the nether. I'm terrible. Look at this chest. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> oh, I just can't stay organized. And here I go. Oh, I was going to add even more stuff to it, but I don't even have room. Let's add more stuff to this one. I guess we'll keep a couple sticks. Make a few more tools. Put that wood away. <gasps> Hi, guys. Look at you all cute in the corner. Put this stuff away. So maybe we'll start with some mining time. Is this good? I'm gonna need more pickaxes than that. And we've got our sword and we might need another axe. Start with some mining time and then maybe we'll work on our village or do some exploring or something. I do wanna, I had an idea like last time I have to remember my controls. I'm not on Switch. Last time, I kept having those, like, poisonous cave spiders come in to murder me. And I was thinking that maybe I might know where they were coming from. We'll see. Hopefully, I only have 13. I guess I don't need that many torches because I was kind of, like, clearing out that main room. And one of you told me there was a diamond I missed in there. So I really want to... I love my glowberries. So cute. I really want to find that diamond. But I do not want to get murdered by cave spiders. Guess we'll use this up first. But I was thinking, so I had that one area where... Oh, let's go down the stairs. <laughs> Still hitting my head everywhere. Maybe I'll fix that. Maybe I won't. But um, I had that area where there was like a little spider spawner box from one side. And I put torches on it. Um, but I'm wondering, see, I opened this all up and I'm wondering if maybe there was another spider box in there and that's where they're all coming from. Oh, but this is like a lot. This is going to use up my sword real fast. Oh, see, I don't know how to, I was, I was thinking it wasn't as big and that I could just like close this up. Let's see. And then maybe I won't get any more spiders coming to kill me who oh, I don't like the darkness when I just lost that torch. But if this stops me from getting poisoned and almost dying over and over again, like, oops, I'm here for it. It's worth it. Just close her on up. Oh, I might need to go closer to the ceiling there, huh? Uh, let's just close that torch in there. Oh no. Okay. I'm gonna run. Oh, I should have brought more cobblestone. Okay, well, that's pretty close. So maybe we'll get some more cobblestone. 
from clearing some other stuff out and close it up. And I hope that's where the spiders are coming from. I could be totally wrong though. They could be coming from, because I had a lot of stuff coming from this direction too. Like I had zombies and stuff coming down that water. So they may all, maybe I should just close up the water. Cause that's all open down there too. They could be, they could be coming from anywhere. Oh no. Should I close this up? Oh, wait, do I hear something? Do I hear something? I just hate how they sneak up on me. You, uh, see, I hear him. Where is he coming from? Where are you? Oh yeah, I have to figure out where you guys said the diamond was. I think it was like on the ceiling or something. See, I heard the guy. Now, where is he? Oh, I hear the spiders. Let's see if we can see where they come from. So I keep hearing things and nothing's coming for me yet, but I just heard one of those stupid spiders and I hate them. Because I get poisoned. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe this isn't where I wanted to start. Let's just take some cobblestone from here real quick and hope nothing creeps up on us. Hear me saying this is going to be cozy. This is not cozy. This is death defying. I really don't want to lose the tiny amount of stuff I have. We did start getting a little bit of iron again. Wait, I hear him. I hear him. Where are you? See, maybe they are back there. Maybe I closed them in. Let's close a little bit more for good measure. Do, 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 just seal that up. Because I mean, that just goes through the, to the other side where, oh, wait, 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 I see you. Oh no, that's just water. I keep hearing zombies, but they, I must be hearing them through the walls. I wish you couldn't hear things through the walls because <laughs> it throws me off so much, obviously. All right. That's closed up at least now. See, I hear, I hear little spider legs creeping around. I mean, should I just go open up a different part of my mind? Because I'm just going to be so paranoid here. Maybe I should close up quite a bit and just have like one path to go. I might be hearing stuff from up there. Well, who knows? Maybe they're just all coming from here. I hear more growls here. All right, I'll stop being a chicken, even though I hear like a million zombies. Oh, see, we've got all this open. I bet they're coming from down here. Let's be brave. Let's take a gander. Ooh, I don't like that, but they're obviously not coming from there. Did I check this? Yes. Okay, let's get our bearings. Let's see what's down each path before we get too worked up. My headphone keeps falling out. Uh, eh. What's over here? Ways for me to get lost. Okay, that's dead end. I actually look... Okay, that's lava. Hearing more growls. I actually look forward to dead ends because it's less for me to keep track of. Okay, so that seems to be pretty somewhat safe over here. Don't think things are spawning there. Okay, I hear gurgling, so I bet they're in the water over here. <gasps> yep. Oh, look at you. Don't you blow me up. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh gosh, I can't get to him fast enough. Oh gosh, wait, where would it go? Oh my, <laughs> that was my sword breaking. Okay, get away, get away. All right, so maybe I just need to clog all that up so they can't keep coming through there. Because I think that's where they're all coming from. I guess I could just make like a little wall that they couldn't crawl over, but I could still see. What I need is to make a new wall and a doorway so I can choose to go in there. To kill them when I want to. What a way to begin. Anyhow, um, if you haven't watched it yet, the first two videos. Oh, oh, hello.
Hello, this is where the spiders come to get me. Um, the first two videos... <gasps> what do I see? What is going on over there? <laughs> the first two videos of my... Oh, those must have been some... Oh, the little squids are dying. I'll take your little ink sacks um, of my Marwin playthrough are up. I'm having a great time. Uh, so if you are a fan of that game or just interested in seeing it, like, oh, I love it so much. It's so much fun. It's pretty old. It's a little old school. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep going with it. And it'll be a good time. Okay, let's let's sit here and get some more cobblestone. All right, 25. Oh, why do I hear so many things? It's probably not enough, but I can just like... Hmm, I wonder... Because I'd have to go like way down to keep them away from here. And I think they can't come over it if it's too high, right? I can just make like a nice little wall here. And then I can come back later and just make a door. I think, I guess spiders could still get through, but at least this way I won't get overwhelmed by things coming to kill me. And we'll keep it lit up over there so they can just come down that waterfall all they want. Although what do I do here now? Oh, let's put a torch. It's too dark. Okay. Because, should I just go this way? Oh, oh, where'd he come from? Ooh, what is he wearing? Why do you look like that? He's like a cleric or something, or not a cleric, whatever they're called. That job with the glasses. Oh gosh, oh, where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? Okay, well, now at least I know where spiders are coming from. But I don't think this is a, gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you guys. Just trying to jump out of this hole. Ugh. There goes my headphone. But yeah, I think that's where a lot of stuff is coming to kill me. But let's leave for a minute until we get our health back. Eesh. Okay. Close that door. This door. I don't remember which one of you told me. I think a couple of you told me to put doors in here. Best idea ever. I don't know. These mines are just uh, too intense for my... My fragile nervous system this morning. We might take our one little piece of iron and go work on um, cuter, lighthearted things like leveling up my village and maybe we'll finally... Oh, I wanted to get more wood while I was down there. I guess I could actually chop some wood for once. Finally finish up our villager fence and the torches and everything to keep everyone safe. At least we got some ink, ink sacks. Wait, did I not? I guess I didn't pick up the one iron I found. Ugh. Do I go back down and look for it? That's the question. I don't think I do. It was just one. If it was more than one, we would give it a shot. All right, so we're going to breed some more pigs. So we can trade our raw pork chops to our villager. Oh gosh, why do I only have one carrot planted? Okay, let's go grab some carrots. I think I had started to plant carrots and I got distracted. So let's breed some pigs and cows and get lots of good trade stuff. Okay, there's carrots. Oh, I wanted to get my, my sugar cane operation up and running again because I have several Oh, I have a couple raw pork chops. Where's my wheat? I have several villagers that want me to trade them paper. So we need to like get a whole, whole paper mill going on. And get some more wheat. Because I think I can also trade wheat and bread to my farmer villager. I don't know why I'm pushing those one at a time. <laughs> okay. Piggies. Prepare yourselves for babies. Yum, 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 yum. There we go. Okay, did we get everybody? Not everybody? I think that's everybody. Now cows. Oh, I wanted to start growing more pumpkins too for trading to my 
No. Oops, oops, didn't mean to come in here. Okay. Let's get trampled by cows. <sighs> cows. I've always, like, I grew up and have almost always lived in places no. where there are a lot of cows. Um, like, a lot of agriculture stuff. And, you know, you just walk out. Oh, hi, guys. Walk around outside and run into cows all the time. Um... And they're kind of scary sometimes. Like, I mean, the the female cows, I guess. Uh, sow, no, a sow is a pig. Whatever. The girly cows are pretty chill. But the bulls can be pretty scary. And they would always just be, like, wandering around. And one time one of my dogs got, like, torn open by one. It was just, it was sleeping. Wait, I don't remember what we're doing. Maybe I'll go give this wheat to the villager. The cow was just like, bull was just sleeping on one side of a mesquite tree. And so my dog didn't notice it. And he just like went up sniffing and the bull like came up and just like used its big old horn and completely tore his side open. And luckily, like it didn't get any organs or anything. It just like tore his flesh wide open. It looked a lot worse than it was actually. And fortunately, when you live in like rural agriculture kind of areas um the vet care is usually cheaper at least where i'm at so it was only like a couple hundred dollars and he got all stitched up and he was fine he's he's gone now that was my dog from many years ago but yeah so bulls can be scary <laughs> like they'll mess you up um i don't know why i'm going on this tangent but we also have like javelina that can seriously like they're so cute and they're usually not that aggressive but if a dog corners them like they will oops no go back there they will mess a dog up is that all of them okay thanks thanks all right so maybe we'll get our sugar cane going yeah, this is what I wanted to do. Some simple, simple village trading. Maybe we'll fix up some stuff and make it look a bit nicer. I will not, I will not get distracted and run off somewhere <laughs> and forget about all of my goals. We're gonna, we're gonna stick to the program here, even though we already changed the program once. So let's go see what we have going on. I think I just like, was impatient and wanted sugarcane, yeah, and I just took down a lot of my sugarcane over here. So maybe, let's put some of this stuff up. It might be cool to like, I don't know, if I make that area a little straighter and then we can have like a nice, easy to harvest straight line of sugarcane. Get some dirt because I put all my dirt away. I kind of want to somehow expand my operation over here too, just because it's pretty and it would be cool. We're going to like create all of our own little biomes right here next to home. Just like our little, our little cherry grove area. I need to put some of, I have like the little flowers for the ground. I need to put up because yeah, I hate it. I mean, I guess it's not that bad. I guess I can just go into the water and grab them, but I hate when they all drop down in the water. I actually a decent amount going on here. But see, they're all just sinking in the water. I'm going to go in here. And a drown, drown error is drowned, drowned is going to get me out. Oh, I, I can't talk today. <laughs> it's not working out for me. I had weird sleep because <laughs> this is going to sound so weird. Oh, I hear you. Where are you? I heard this little bubbly sound. Um... One of the kittens has decided that she absolutely must sleep with her, like, she tries to push her mouth against my mouth and, like, she doesn't, like, lick or anything. She just, I don't know if she likes the breath. Oh, there you are, you turd. The breath coming from my nose, like, the, you know, being near where my nose air is coming out or what, but she just wants to sleep on my neck. Oh, gosh and be right there and then if I like try to turn away from her she'll either keep following me she'll try to lick my face or she'll start meowing for attention so it's been interesting 
Yeah, I see. Oh, you got a trident. I don't like you. Get away from me. Get away from me. We'll go put more in the other, the other way. Now I can't tell when it's getting to be nighttime. Can I plant it on gravel? Maybe not. Let's do this. Doop. Doop. Go in. Oh, it's so hard to just not make it all into paper and plant more instead. But if we hang out and do some stuff in this area, this will hopefully not take too long. I guess I could... I have so much bone mill. I guess I could bone mill it and get my paper going a little faster. Maybe I'll do that. All right. I don't know what time it is now because it's raining, so let's go home. Let's go look at our wall clock. And some of you are telling me, oh, make a clock. I have a clock. I made one a really long time ago. And then I put it on my wall because it looked cute. And I liked it. One of you told me how to do this. And it's adorable. So does that mean it's almost nighttime because it's like there? I think it does. Let's go to bed. Okay, it wasn't quite bedtime, so we actually organized a tiny amount, and I found... Oh, look at it! I got so many of these! I don't know if I want all of those. Sometimes that background music sounds like, um, dial-up static. <laughs> so weird. Okay. Oh, I have these cute terracotta from that archaeology site, too, that we could do something with. I've got a couple bricks. Oh, I have leads in like three different places. I have snowballs in three different places. So maybe we'll just allow ourselves to use a little bit of our bone mill. I brought my paper over here. Look at it, we have 50, 50 emeralds. I think these are in something upstairs. So we'll just hold on to those for now. And let's put our leads away. Look at that. We have 11 leads. All right, let's bone mill some stuff and put some flowers down. Good times. Can you breed again yet, cows? I never understand the timers, I guess. Seems good. They're getting hearts. Make me some more babies to kill. Sorry, sorry. I might be feeding the babies too. Oh, it seemed like a lot of wheat. <laughs> now let's make some more piggies. Okay, let's try to just get the adults. Is this not working yet? Can you not breed yet? Maybe they have a longer timer or something. Okay, whatever. Have some carrots. Thrive, be happy. For now, until I turn you into pork chops. <laughs> Alright, let's go... I don't know, maybe I shouldn't use all my bone mill up on this, but I'm impatient and I want to level my villagers. Oh, I thought that was wood for a second. That was my old, my, my original little crop place. Can I even use it? Oh yeah, there we go. Ooh, look at how nice that grows. Does two each. I mean, I guess it would make more sense for me to use these extras I'm getting and make this go even farther so then when they grow on their own I can have a ton. We'll do that. We'll be good. We won't get all our paper just yet. But maybe, maybe soon. If we play for long enough to- oh gosh, dang it! I aim too low. Give me, give me all the sugar cane. Yeah. All right, did we get it all? Oh, I really, I should be getting some more fishies too and they're in the nice shallow area. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come here, come here. Why can't I get you? Cause I need to have some fishies on hand in case I see any kitties I want. Okay. That's good enough for now. Look, okay, and we got 20 sugar canes to plant. Wonder what, it, th that should be close enough to the water right there, right? Maybe not. I don't know. Don't want to risk it. Yeah. Okay. In a couple days. Dang it! Ugh! I'm so bad at aiming. I hate to admit it. So I have not 
I'm still playing on controller on this, but um, I actually kind of really like playing mouse and keyboard on, will this work on tilt soil? Maybe not. <laughs> for Morrowind, um, so I don't know. I always said I wouldn't do it. Gosh dang it. But maybe, maybe soon it will be time for me to learn to play Minecraft with keyboard. <laughs> we'll see. I make no promises. Might immediately frustrate me, but it would be kind of nicer to not have to set up the controller to work on my computer every time. And we got six more. Go, 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 go. Oh, look, I didn't knock those ones down. Maybe they grew on their own. Yeah. Give me that. All right, this is a pretty, pretty nice sugar cane field we have going on here, I think. Hopefully these ones will grow because these are a little further away. Whatever, we'll go for it. Oops, they'll grow when I frolic in my my cherry grove. There. There. Oh, you know what I should do? I should make the cherry grove like all cute and enchanted and put like, oh, I love the falling petals, put like lanterns and stuff and just like lanterns. I don't know if you could make like little cute benches or something, but wouldn't that be just idyllic? Hi, you can live here. You can live in my enchanted grove. Do, do, do. I'm glad I brought a bunch of these back because it makes it look so much cuter. Maybe I'll put some other kinds of pink flowers in here too and make it a whole beautiful little pink forest. I did have more saplings too. I could extend this. Make it all very cute. Okay, two. One. Now what is this? Why are you in my way? You are not part of this operation. This is going to be <laughs> the least eventful video yet because I am just, I don't know. I'm just feeling building and doing chill things. I do not want to die today. Even though I've kind of gotten so used to the dying now that it doesn't phase me as much. Get out of here. Get. No green here, only pink. Yeah, maybe next time we go back and I'll put some bone mill on those and grab the rest of my cherry blossom saplings because I have quite a few. Beautiful. Um, so on the other side, I think I want to make like a spruce forest. And make a little, like, around my snowman enclosure and make a cute snowy area. Okay, what were we doing now? Were those the two things we were coming out here to do? Yes. I guess we could work on our fence. But I don't really want to. And my villagers have been, I mean, maybe it's because I always sleep at night. So we don't get a lot of monsters spawning. Because look at my pink house out there. So cute. They kind of seem to be flourishing. Maybe we should see what other workstations we can make. Because I was going to steal them. But you guys did mention I could just make them not be terrible. Oh, I just love these tulips so much. So cute. I want more jack-o'-lanterns too. Oh, I read... Oh, I forgot what it was. That a jack-o'-lantern... I think like provides a larger Larry larger area of light than a torch. That could be wrong, but I think that's what I read. I already forgot. <laughs> Wait, what was I going to do here? Oops. I already forgot what I was doing. Rewind the tapes. No, I'm not going to go back and watch a video just to remember what I was doing. What? What? Okay, intermission. Let me figure out what I was doing. Villager workstations. I don't, I don't know how you guys could forget that. I only remembered because I started looking in my inventory and I saw the loom, which I think counts as a villager workstation, right? So I can put that somewhere. Okay, where would the rest of them be? 
Look at all this stuff. Spyglass. I don't look through this enough. Turtle, turtle shell. Can I wear that? Empty maps. Rabbit stew. So many kinds of arrows. <laughs> I still haven't learned to use a bow. All right. Oh, I really wanted to get beeswax for candles, but probably not this time. Okay, here they are. So we have a cartography table. We have a fletching table there. I'm not sure if we have a smithing table there, do we? Oh, I don't know. I don't, I think maybe, maybe we do. I think he wants like, I think he wants coal for me. Um, I don't want to waste the iron if we already have it. <gasps> Beehive, oh wait, I'd need the wax. Furnace, blast furnace, smoker. Respawn anchor, what is that? Somebody tell me what that is, that sounds cool. Enchantment table, bookshelf, chiseled bookshelf. Okay, I think these count too. So I think, that, yeah, there already is a grindstone in one of them. I need to go and see what all of that is. Skulker box, barrel, ender chest, those are all chests, composter, and a cauldron. Ain't making that cauldron. Look at all that iron. Okay, maybe I have most of them, but note block, juke, jukebox, music disc. Wow, look at all this. I have so many more recipes than when I started with sea lantern. <gasps> what? Oh. Oh, I want to do all of those. That looks adorable. Okay, what's this? A beacon? Stone cutter. Okay, maybe it's a stone cutter that we have and not a grindstone. Coal, oh, I can make coal. Oh, out of coal block. Wow, there's so much more than I used to have. Oh, I can even make an emerald. Oh, out of a block again. <laughs> wow. But when I went to that one village, there was like a fisher, like a fisherman thing. Minecart with TNT. That I meant to steal and then I didn't, but I think I ended up dying anyways. Oh, dropper, dispenser, piston. Sticky piston. Man, I have not looked through this in a long time because so much of this is new to me. Smithing templates. Fireworks! Cute! Decorated pot. And a target. Okay, so nothing new for me. Except the loom. Oh, I found 40 pumpkins in my inventory that I can uh, sell to my farmer. All right, you guys. Should I... I guess I'll breed one more time before I start killing them. Of course, we only have six wheat and I don't really feel like grabbing more. I guess we can let them grow up, though. Breed these on the corner. Eat, eat, eat. Eat to your heart's content. Okay, hopefully I get a couple more cows of that. And these pigs... Do not seem to be multiplying that quickly. You, 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 you. I have so many carrots anyways, whatever. I don't know if the babies are eating them. Get as many as we can. And sell some pumpkins and put our loom down. Yeah, luckily I did so... Oh, I forgot to get the other flowers. <laughs> luckily I did so much farming toward the beginning, just like getting crops over and over again that I have a lot of carrots and wheat and stuff like that. So let's go. We start, oh, hi, you wanna come in? Oh, it's cause I have a carrot. Come on in, have a carrot. I am generous. All right, where's my farmer? Hey guys, gotta figure out where to put the loom too cause I sure never used it. And I mean, I guess I can still come over here and use it if I need to. Pumpkins. I'll give you the pumpkins. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's so close. <gasps> oh, we're a journeyman. I don't know if I want to trade him. Is that... Wait, you guys told me what that was. And I forgot. Pumpkin pie. Is that any good? Trade him one more pumpkin. Wow. Yes, I don't think it's... Maybe it's worth it to trade him back some jewels. I guess you guys are saying I could just like keep trading back and forth just to get him leveled. He can give me cookies now. 
and cakes and whatever that is that's hard to put my thing on. It's not going to tell me anyways. Okay. Well, we got six more jewels. Very nice. Get this stuff out of my way. All right. Let's find a place to put the loom. I guess because I was putting... Oh, here's the cartography table. I was putting stuff in people's houses for them to, like, make a job of it. But I don't know if I actually have to do that. So I'm going to put it in the house and forget where it is. Oh, well. Let's do it. Because, like I said, I've had this loom for a really long time and I still haven't used it. Boom. All right. Somebody go bond with that. I'll leave it to you. I'll leave it to you to do your bonding. All right. Maybe. Maybe. Next, we will do some exploring into this mountainside and see if we can find some like closer mines and caves and stuff. What we can get some iron from. You stay in there. Oh, I guess you guys also said this is too big to make the animals stay in, but I'm pretending that it's keeping them in because it makes me happy and I'll never pay enough attention to notice the difference until they're all dead. Are th wait, are these my pigs? What? <gasps> Why don't my pigs get out? <gasps> Who opened my gate? No. No. Wait, come back, piggy. Come get this. I didn't open this. How did this happen? Get back in here. Let's just get enough of them that we can start breeding again. Come on. Are you guys stuck? Seriously? Come on. Come on. You can do it. Get in here. Come on. Oh my god. You're stupid. Let's go. Get in here. Get Wait, wait. Get in here. Come on. Okay, I give up. This is good enough. Oh, that's frustrating. If anybody saw what happened there, let me know because I did not think I opened that. I just came back to all my pigs being out. All right, my little pork chops. Where'd you go? <laughs> Any adult, other adults out here have to lend me their pork chops. I bred so many of them. Wow, they took off fast. They knew what was coming for them. <laughs> they knew their fates. Stupid pigs. Ah, I see you. Well, I don't want to kill the babies. Stop running. Just make a little fence around them. <laughs> well, I don't want to kill... I guess they just be, get to be free because they're all following their mommy all cute. I can't just kill her. I'm <laughs> sneaking up on this guy. You. Give me your stuff. Give it. Give it. I want more leads. Give them. Don't you spit at me, llama. You may live. Give me that. Yeah. All right. Ooh, that kind of glitched out there. That was weird. What are you guys? Oh, did I grab and get another from the caravan? Oh, no, I think he's just here. I had this one tied up and this one started hanging out here a long time ago. All right, maybe we'll put some stuff away and sleep. Gosh, stupid pigs. And then kind of do some stuff over in the mountain. While we wait for things to grow up so we may kill them all. All right. A new day has dawned. Let's go. Yeah, I feel like we should just start kind of clearing. Oh, my piggies are still here. I mean, if you guys just hang around the island, that'd be cool. Grow up and I'll kill all of you. That is acceptable. Give me... Your pork chops. Guess I could hunt some pigs in the wild over here too. So let's see. We've gone up and over this mountain a few times. But I feel like maybe we can find some caves. Like what's that right there? Have I gone in there before? Mm. Give me your meat and leather. I'm sorry. Wait, come back. Mm. I must eat your meat and trade your leather. For my own gain. Hi. Yeah. You too. I'm sorry. Wait. Wait. Come here. Come here. Oh, I don't like their sounds when they die. 
Makes me sad. Okay. So what's this little... Well, ooh. Wait, oh, this is a mine. <laughs> Nothing special. That was a mine I started before. Where we kind of just went straight down. I don't know, I could just keep going in that and branch out, but I don't know. I feel like at this point, like parts of my main mine I have down to level... What is it? 55 or negative 55 or whatever level you're supposed to get to have diamonds. I have a big room that I got down to that level where I can continue mining. Wait, what's this? Hello. I think this is where I died on one of my first episodes. <laughs> ah, that was fun. I think this was my first, no, well, not my first zombie death. I died a bunch when I first, on the first episode because I had no idea what to do. But this looks interesting. I don't have a shovel with me. Ooh, I got a lot of meat from them. Let's see. Oh, okay. What's in here? The window, it's like, <laughs> look all shiny from the window too. Uh, I think it's just because it's like noon right now. It's shining so much light in my face now. Hmm. Dead end. <gasps> Oh, just coal. Really, I should always take the coal when I see it. But alas, I do not. Hi, cow. You wanna die? Guess this turned into a cow hunting mission. But one of my villagers does want leather. So, not the worst thing. Okay, maybe we'll do something else. Actually, I think this episode is getting pretty long. Maybe I should grab the kittens and reward everyone who actually made it to this point with a little, little kitten update. Maybe next episode I should get my boat and we should go in there. Yeah. Okay, well, I didn't find any caves immediately and now I have given up. So maybe, wait, where am I? Which way did I go? Oh, wait, there's my house. Um, maybe I will end this one here and grab a couple kittens and give you a little update because they're so big and they're so cute and they should be pretty sleepy right now so it won't be um, all that chaotic. But for those who are absolute monsters and don't care about seeing kittens, um, I guess you can just click away right now. And I mean, I don't know if you should come back if you don't care about kittens. I'm just kidding. But really, who, who could not care about kittens? Um, but I'll stop talking about kittens now and I will grab some kittens and be right back. Okay, I'm lazy, so I just made, made me a little bigger, and they were all sleeping so happily, and I just couldn't disturb them, so I just brought one. Um, this little girl I call Pooh Bear, because I don't know, I just feel like she looks like a Pooh Bear. Um, oh, I woke her up, but now she's gonna be crazy. But yeah, it kind of wouldn't have been very manageable to bring more than one. But look how... She's the biggest one. She's been a big girl from the start. But look how big she is. Isn't she just so cute? I do... I haven't been very good about posting stuff about them on the Instagram. I mostly made to post about them. But I will try to post more there. I think the link is somewhere in on my page if you want to go see the other pictures of them. Um... But yeah, as you can tell, I got really attached and I didn't rehome them, so we're just, we're just not going to talk about yet. Oh, we're not going to talk about it. They're very happy babies. <laughs> and that's the end. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye!